person who never made a mistake, never tried anything new. Hello, I'm Ms. Hina Imran and I'm here because I love to learn and explore. Today's video is all about the most common mistakes in English grammar. English language gets tricky sometimes with tons of rules sometimes overlapping each other and not even making sense. In this video, I'm going to tell you some common errors and how you can correct them. So let's start. I'm going to tell you the wrong one first and then we're going to figure out the right one. I have met Bob last year. Where is the error? The error is in have. We cannot use the present perfect tense right now when we have just said I have met John last year. With present perfect tense, you can't use a finish time. What does finish time mean? As soon as you use something like last year, yesterday, last month, last winter and so on, that means you're talking about the past or even two hours ago which has already passed. And that's the finish time. When you use present perfect tense, you cannot use a finish time. You can use an unfinished time like today, this week, this month and this year. If you need to mention a finish time, then you just go back to use the past simple tense as we have done here. I've taken out the, the have and it just simply says, I met Bob last year. I have visited Niagara Falls last weekend. The same thing. I have visited Niagara Falls last weekend. That's the wrong one. The right one is I visited Niagara Falls last weekend. The woman which works here is from Japan. What's wrong with this sentence? The woman who works here is from Japan, not which. We're talking about a person. So when we're talking about a person, you write who. She's married with a dentist. Any idea where the error is? The error is the word with. It's the wrong preposition. The preposition should be she's married to a dentist. We actually say engaged to, married to. So the problem was with the preposition. Let's move ahead. She was boring in the class. Now, when you are using was, that means we are talking about the past tense. So we shouldn't be using ing continuous form. Instead, we will use she was bored in the class. I must to call him immediately. I must to call him immediately. I must call him immediately. Every student, every students like the teacher. Every students like the teacher? What do you think is the mistake here? We are using the word every here. So using the word students is not right as every is already telling us that all the students are individually involved. Writing plural two times is unnecessary. Also, when we have a singular noun, we write S to the verb. So, like will become Every student likes the teacher. Every student likes the teacher. Although it was raining, but we had the picnic. As far as I know, Although simply has same meaning of but. It is quite odd to use it together in one sentence. For example, although she is very beautiful but selfish. Instead of this, it is better to leave out one of them to have a clear meaning. She is very beautiful but selfish. The same thing, although it was raining 
but we had the picnic will become although it was raining we had the picnic simple i enjoyed from the movie from the movie i enjoyed the movie yes i look forward to meet you he hasn't done the meet up instead he's anticipating it so we will use the ing form i look forward to meeting you i like very much ice cream i like very much ice cream sometimes in english language you have to see how it sounds like obviously this sentence is really not sounding right i like ice cream very much yes she can to drive she can drive two is unnecessary here susan need help with her homework so what's the problem here the mistake is in the word need the subject verb agreement the verb has to agree with the subject right and if we say susan it's a she which means it's a singular we would have to say she needs susan needs help with her homework where i can find a bank where i can find a bank where can i find a bank i can go washroom can you technically technically the correct form is may i go to the washroom in casual usage can is much more frequent than may but using can could let a smart alec respond i don't know can you meaning are you able to this is because can implies you are asking about the ability and not requesting permission so the correct verb uh, sentence would be may i go to the washroom or can i go to the washroom if you want to say but i prefer you say may i go all right when i will arrive i will call you using will two times is unnecessary you are implying you are signaling that when you reach a place you will do a required task so the correct sentence would be when i arrive i will call you she doesn't listen to me listen is an intransitive verb meaning it doesn't take an object in fact it doesn't need an object for example i can say please repeat what you said i wasn't listening so the to is necessary to introduce a complement of the verb or if you prefer you can consider listen to as yet another phrasal verb in english she doesn't listen to me you speak english good the correct sentence is you speak english well because the adverb well gives us more information about the verb speak using good the sentence has to be you speak good english because good as an adjective modifies the noun english the police is coming police is a noun which describes a collection of police officer this means it has no singular form and always uses a plural verb so the correct sentence would be the police are coming there is seven girls in the class there is seven girls in the class there are seven girls in the class but we don't need to write is because we're already talking about seven girls that's a plural thank you for watching my video and i hope it will help you identify the small mistakes we unconsciously make 
I'll be uploading the second part of 25 more common grammar mistakes very soon, so keep a watch. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if it's your first time, as I regularly post videos that can help you a lot. For my returning subscribers, thanks a bunch guys, uh, your motivation really helps me into working extra hard to bring in quality work for you guys. Uh, I would love it if you can comment and uh, post about what kind of videos you would want me to make. Till my uh, next video, take care and bye.